Hey, good morning. The Supreme Court been busy this week. On Thursday, June 23rd, 2022, the Supreme Court ruled that suspects who are not warned about their right to remain silent cannot sue a police officer for damages under federal civil rights law, even if they use the evidence against them in criminal trial. And the Supreme Court has been losing its mind. I mean, look, even before the Roe v. Wade decision and even before they, you know, reversed it to where you can't sue police departments for not reading you your Miranda rights properly and what have you. They, as I've talked about before on this channel, they made it easier to corrupt incumbents in office before the Supreme Court, you know, did what they did. You could only receive two hundred and fifty thousand dollars worth of a loan that you give back. So if there's someone sitting in office, he gave them a million dollars, they can only give you $250,000 worth of that back, which lessen the incentive for you to give money like that to people who are in office. But now, oh no, you can get all of that back and then some, which means that campaigns are not only flooded with corporate cash, but now incumbents are even more flooded with corporate cash than they were before. Because, you know, we didn't have enough as it was. You know, there just there just wasn't enough money flowing through the system that was destroying everything. Oh, no, 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 no. We had to totally remove the tap, totally break the dam and let all that water gush out. Oh, yeah. The Supreme Court, they've been busy. Who knows? They're coming for the 14th Amendment next. But all that happened on this day in history. And I'd like to take this time to talk about Clarence Thomas goofy ass specifically, who after, you know, helping to uh, reverse Roe v. Wade said that, hey, well, we might as well go ahead and look at reversing gay marriage, leave that up to the states and, you know, God and Jesus and the Bible and what have you. And then we also, you know, we might as well go ahead and take a look at that Brown versus uh, Board of Education too. you know, this whole, you know, take away segregation stuff. And let's leave that up to the states as well. But interracial marriage. No, no, no. Let's leave that off the table. I, I wonder why that may be. Could it be because Clarence Thomas's wife is white? Of course, that's why it is, which is the epitome of the American conservative. Oh, well, if it's not about me, then it doesn't matter. Oh, this is going to affect me. Now it matters. Nothing matters until it's right at my front doorstep. And again, it's like this guy, for him, for us to believe that the Supreme Court is not a political entity is absolute garbage. These guys are just political activists on this bench. That's it. Because they're setting these precedents and they're choosing and picking and cherry picking precedents. No, 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 no. They ended Roe v. Wade. They took away our ability to sue police departments with the Miranda rights issue because they felt like it. It's as simple as that. And I mean, look, the fact that they just reversed Roe v. Wade, they just took away a human right, something that's been in place for 50 years. They rolled it back. I mean, what does that say? It says that they have no limits. It says that there is no bottom to the barrel. They're going to keep doing whatever they want to do arbitrarily because, well, they already have done it. I mean, what more do we need to see? And what more do the Democrats need to see before they end the filibuster, before they pack the court, even though the Republicans would do the same thing? It's, you know, take some action to actually do something. But that's how it always rolls back to us. And that's why I always in these videos, pointing the finger back at us, the public, because the Democratic Party is not going to save us. They're feckless. We have on the right fascists and on the left, we have the feckless. But we, you know what I'm saying? That's pretty much how it's lined up. So we got to do better. We got to elect better. We have to be better. And that's what's going to make a difference at the end of the day.